Joining me now, Virginia Democratic Senator Mark Warner, part of the Banking Committee, which is also holding this hearing. Senator, what needs to be done to help these workers? We know it's something, but what's your plan? Well, Stephanie, first of all, we need to take a deep breath and a step back and recognize that the traditional tools, an interest rate cut, some kind of general stimulus where we give everybody X amount of money, targeted tax cuts, or for that matter, um, the idea of what the president's proposing, a payroll tax cut, isn't going to help workers who've been furloughed or lost their jobs. So what we ought to be focusing on are two universes, those individuals who by direction or by the fact that they've got the illness, have to self-quarantine. No one should lose their job, lose their pay. There also needs to be flexibility if your kid's school is closed to deal with those kind of life issues. And then we ought to put real focus as well on those industries, you know, retail, restaurant, airline, hotel, who are going to get hit even if they're not quarantined. So any, for example, if there was targeted tax relief to any of those industries, that tax relief has to be a pass-through so that the, the, the dollars actually go to the workers, not just to shore up the corporate bottom line. For small businesses, we need some, in a sense, regulatory relief from the, for the banks to be able to let things slide a little bit uh, on payments. That's going to require the regulators working with them. And for folks who are self-quarantining, I think we may need to be able to use, and there needs to be a chip in from both the employer and potentially from the public. Uh, one idea that I'm looking into is couldn't, can we use the unemployment insurance, which has been, those dollars have been stacking up. We've had low unemployment. Those funds are already there. Waive the seven-day requirement before you go on parts of unemployment if you are quarantined or if you, it looks like you might be f furloughed because of those quarantines. Um, and make sure we get the dollars to the workers and families that are being affected. Would declaring a national emergency help free up funds to help those individuals and businesses that are in trouble? You know, truth is, I'm not 100% sure on that. I would, I worry with this administration where there's not a lot of confidence that they are, are going to play this straight. You know, we've not seen them play straight on the health care end. My, my feeling is this payroll tax cut seems to be a, you know, quickie traditional response, not something that's been thought through. Um, if there are abilities to have flexibility with a national emergency, I'm open to that, but it's got to be with a willingness to work with both parties in Congress so that we don't end up with something that is simply, uh, uh, again, a presidential campaign tactic. You got to wonder when an American president goes to CDC with a national virus and wears a campaign hat at that trip, whether you know we can take this administration's efforts seriously or believe they're fully independent. Well, in a time of emergency, you'd hope that leaders can come together. Senator, thank you so much for joining me this morning. I appreciate it. Thank you, Stephanie. Up next,